So you guys may be thinking, Derek, your apartment looks really weird today. It really doesn't look like we've been used to for the past like eight months of your videos and everything like that. And that's because I am in Iceland right now. Yeah. I came here by myself, because I have no friends, and <laughs> girlfriend's not gonna happen anytime soon, right? <laughs> okay, let's forget about that, let's get into today's video! So for today's video, I am going to be letting random people in Iceland decide what I eat, whether it be following a car down the highway, letting the person in front of me in the drive-thru decide what I eat, and many, many more things that are gonna completely ruin my last day in Iceland. Today's video is not gonna showcase all the waterfalls, the hills, and the mountains, in Iceland. If you guys want to see stuff like that, head over to my Instagram at Derek underscore Gerard. And if you're wondering why the video quality looks a little bit weird, it's because I did not bring my camera because I was not supposed to film on this trip at all. But the food here has been so crazy that I thought I had to film a video for you guys. And in the spirit of filming in my iPhone, you know what? This entire video is going to be vertical, guys. Let's go breaking boundaries and starting new trends. I'm just kidding. I would never do that to you. Yes, I would. Yes, I would! You guys know it! This Airbnb is actually super- You guys want a quick little tour? Here's a quick little tour of the Airbnb. Go! Whoa! It has a cool little attic up here to let your friends sleep in that. You know that one friend that you really don't like? Yeah, this is where that guy gets to sleep. Hey! Hey! Who said you could stare at my butt? We have the living area where you- You live? <laughs> I mean, the view is just kind of all right. We don't need to look at that for too long. We have the bathroom where a majority of the time I'm using this, and I have not yet used that once. If you could smell me, you would agree. You would know. And this, guys, is where the magic happens. <laughs> and by magic, I mean me watching Minecraft videos until I fall asleep. And if you guys would like to book this beautiful Airbnb for yourself, there will not be a link because they're not paying me. If anybody wants to pay me to go to your Airbnb, I, I will go. <laughs> All right, so the first place on our list for letting strangers decide what we eat in Iceland is gonna be a grocery store called Bonus. From my experience being here for the past couple days, Bonus is kind of like a safe way, a save on, kind of like a Whole Foods type thing where you just get your groceries. And because when you go to Iceland, you are going to be driving a lot. And when I say you're gonna be doing a lot of driving in Iceland, I am not over exaggerating. I've probably killed about an entire species of bug. Uh, if you look across here, there is a lot of uh, dead flies. Wh Holy sh- wow. Call me Lord of the Flies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, I don't read, I don't know what that's from. Even on the windshield, we got a couple. That's like a freaking pagenta kill or something. Kill catastrophe. I realized that going somewhere in Iceland without having snacks loaded in your car is the biggest mistake you can make. Guys, I literally had to take a bite out of this cup. I was so hungry. So bonus just opened up. I'm going to whip inside <laughs> or outside, you know what I mean? And follow around one of the other customers and only get things that they are getting. Hopefully they get some good snacks for the rest of our journey today. I'll see you guys in a bit. some issues with the whole follow a stranger around thing but i managed to get some snacks without deciding anything i don't know if you guys are aware but the entire population of iceland like the entire place with iceland is huge is only like 375,000 people and if you make a comparison the city of vancouver where i live iceland is like this big vancouver is like the size of my brain what'd you think you thought i was gonna say peanut i was inside bonus trying to find someone to follow around and it was becoming a problem maybe it's because i'm not in the main city or it's like a dry time to go to the grocery store but it there was nobody else in the entire store it was just me and the employee so to get our snacks without me deciding i instead brought up a random number generator on my phone and i used that to decide what i got so the first thing we got was our drink from row three and we got item number one and that happened to be a drink called mix but, 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 but this, but I, I have, and again, everything on the bottle is in Icelandic, so I don't know what kind of drink this is. It, it, it kind of looks like a Mountain Dew type of thing. Next, I saw these delicious looking cookies on the shelf, and I just thought, man, what a nice thing to have on my journey from place to place today. But I spun the random number generator, and I got row number four, item number two, which turned out to be... Uh, las lasagna noodles. I don't know how I'm gonna eat these. It says product of Italy on the bottom. So that's really Icelandic. Great. Awesome. Next, I was thinking of a little cheese snack for our adventure today, but then I saw, saw that. 
And I, no, I don't want, I'm not dealing with that. Candy, licorice, and chocolate is super, super popular in Iceland. So I went over to the candy section. I spun the random number generator. I got row number four, item number eight, which you go all the way down the line. And that turned out to be this candy right here called Opal or Opal. And it says in the bottom, um, should I even try? Sell me a, sell me a clock. And again, there is no English on here whatsoever, but from the color of the candy and the color of the packaging, it looks like it would be like a mint chocolate chip candy. So the first thing we're gonna do today for our breakfast is go to a drive-thru and let the person in front of us decide what we get. Okay, that's actually really good. It's like kind of like Mountain Dew, but way less sweet. I found every time I've gotten like a pop or a soda, I don't know what the f they call it in Iceland, okay? I've noticed that the sweetness of the drinks is a lot dialed down compared to Canada and America, which I love. So the Icelandic drive-thru that I found is this place called Actu Taktu. Uh, what kind of accent is that? What kind of accent is that? Actu Taktu, guys. If I'm saying it wrong, anybody from Iceland, I know some of the D squad is from Iceland. Leave it in the comments below how you actually say it. But I'm going to head over there, let the person in front of me decide my breakfast, and let's see what we get. Guys, look how crazy Iceland is. You see the light? The light? The light's red, right? So the next thing that should be is green. So you wait. Oh! What? It turns yellow? Whoa, dude! All right, so I am just pulling up to the drive through of Laktu Taktu. I, I watched a YouTube video. That's apparently how it's pronounced. This place legit has all the same coloring as McDonald's, but the items look a lot more intricate, so I'm very interested to see what I get or what the person in front of me gets. The random stranger in front of me is deciding what I get right now, and he probably has no idea. They have burgers, fries, sandwiches, bagels, coffee. They have coffee! But the thing about Iceland is that compared to Vancouver, one, there's a seven hour time difference and I still haven't adjusted to it. And also, it just never gets dark here, ever. You will walk outside at one o'clock in the morning, guys. One o'clock in the morning when you think, oh, it's gonna be pitch black, but you go outside and it's just pretty and bright. Like, yeah, it's freaking gorgeous, but I, I need my beauty sleep, man. So I've been tired this entire trip. I've kind of given up on getting coffee for this video, at least, because even in the past four days when I've gotten it, it hasn't woken me up at all. It's our turn. Hi, can I just get the exact same order as the lady who was in front of me? Uh, yes, let me ask her. Do you know what's your here? No, I don't. Do you just want the surprise? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to be annoying. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's actually interesting. Thank you. Do you have a YouTube channel? I have to say, the people who work in Iceland are very nice. But they're very slow. <laughs> I had to restart the clip on my phone to make sure I didn't lose the footage. And I was in that drive-thru for 22 minutes. So the total for the food came out to 3,200 krone. I forgot the name. 3,226. <sighs> Man, it is just so great being editor Derek and having to watch all this footage and edit it of just Derek getting to eat all this fun and exotic food while I have to sit here and all he gives me to eat is this. This is real. This is all I get to eat. Just like the video so I can get some real food, okay? It's Icelandic dollars, and that comes out to around 35 Canadian dollars. And if you were at a fast food place in Canada and you spent 35 bucks, that's probably like three meals, but here, that's really not that much food. So we have two drinks here, and neither of the drinks have ice in them. I don't know if that's what the lady asked for in front of me, or maybe they just don't put ice in their drinks in Iceland, which would be... So funny. <laughs> I don't know what either of these drinks are. They didn't tell me anything. So let's see what this one is. Okay, yeah, that that is definitely Coca-Cola. And the other one is Coca-Cola as well. Okay, we have two Cokes here. One small and one that is like slightly wider, but shorter. Do you like it long or do you like it short and fat? Like mine. W wait, what? <laughs> and for the food, we have two bags. Let's see what's in this one first. They're nice. I love the way their bags look. So much cooler and they feel way better than in Canada. So we have what looks to be a sandwich on the top. Oh, and it's like, br oh, it's like a bread sandwich. And we have some fries in there as well. No sauce. This lady might not have asked for sauce. Let's see how their fries are. They taste pretty good. They just taste like McDonald's fries that have been like out for a couple hours. We have like real bread and on the inside we have, oh, we have like ham and I think that's mustard. Oh, like honey mustard. Oh, I love honey mustard. Let's see how this tastes. 
Oh my god, that is really good. Whatever, whatever this is, I don't even know. I can't even order this again because they didn't tell me what it was. Oh my god, that is freaking good, dude. I love this style of bread. This isn't giving me like McDonald's Burger King fast food vibes. It's giving me more like my mom packed my lunch and she made me a sandwich, but it's like 10 times better than my mom's sandwich. Sorry, mom. Your sandwiches were, were off. No one ever wanted me to, to trade me, mom. I would always bring my mom's sandwiches and try to trade them for, you know, like Dunkaroos or the Ritz crackers, and no one would ever want my mom's sandwiches. Sorry, mom. I ended up throwing them in the garbage half the time. And in the other bag we have, oh, we have sauce! Yes! Oh, yes! First we have this sauce, which I don't know, co cocktail sauce. Oh, cocktail! That must be cocktail sauce. And they also gave like whatever this is. It looks like a thousand island, maybe like chipotle sauce. We have another set of fries and in the bag as well. I think these are the jalapeno poppers. That's probably why we have the cocktail sauce in here, but the lady freaking asked for a side of this sauce. This lady must have seen me in the rear view mirror and been like, Derek, he needs some sauce. Let's take one of whatever these are. Let's dip it in our sauce that they gave us and let's see how this tastes. So these are the jalapeno poppers. Um, this is extremely weird. I don't even know what kind of mixture this is or if the lady even intended for me to do this, but I'm doing it and it, it's very odd. Maybe the fries will be better in this sauce. Mmm! Oh, do that. No! No! It was good at first, but then no! Maybe this sauce is better. Let's see what this one is. Mm, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it, baby! Oh my god, dude, what is that? Oh! Dude, I can't even order this when I come back to Iceland eventually because I don't I don't know what it is. Oh my god, it's so good. It tastes like like nacho cheese mixed with ranch. That's probably the most American thing I have ever said. plans i was driving and i had this idea i am going to let a stranger on the street decide where i go next to get my little snack or lunch or whatever whatever i'm eating at this point i don't get to decide if it's a meal a snack a drink you know the booty i might have to eat the booty okay <laughs> no i'm not gonna do that oh. So what I am doing right now is driving down the highway and I am behind this truck. This truck right here, license plate DKG64. And wherever this guy goes, that's where I'm going to go. He or she gets to decide the next place that I eat. You know, if they stop at a gas station, I have to eat at the gas station. If they stop at the mall, I get to go in somewhere in the mall and get some food. And you know, if they stop to go fishing, I am because I've never caught a fish in my entire life. So let's see where this random stranger takes us. All right, you guys, I just turned off the camera because I've been driving for so long, but I am pulling up to the place that the person in front of me, the random stranger, the truck is right there getting gas. I think they just went inside to grab something quickly. So this is where I am going to be going. As you guys can see, this gas station little shop here is in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and he's off. Like, I don't think you guys understand how middle of nowhere this place is. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing. We have a few cars driving by every once in a while, but uh, we're going to Litla Kofiskofa. Why did I even, why did I try that? That is the name right there, Wh whatever that says. And hopefully they have a bathroom because I've been drinking that drink I got from the morning all day and I need to drain the pipe. I, I, <laughs> I have never been more shocked in my life to walk into a gas station than to walk into Litla Kofiskofa and it was Beautiful! They had so many different things from candy bars to fresh donuts to cakes to pastries. Oh, there was freaking. This is not in Canada or America. There's nothing like this. Especially, need I remind you, we're in the middle of nowhere. There is nothing else here. I walked up to the lady at the counter and I told her, Hey, I'm just driving home right now. Could you just pick me out a couple things to snack on while I drive back? At first, she was very confused, just like the lady at the drive through at uh, Lakitu. Le 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 Lakita's a Pokemon, isn't it? League, lack of League of Legends. I think she could tell I was a tourist. So the first thing she grabbed me was she told me this is her favorite Icelandic chocolate bar. She also gave me what is called an Icelandic donut, which is this weird sexual looking thing. Okay, I, I, I know you guys were gonna say it in the comments. And the lady at this gas station came through because she said you have to wash it down with a coffee, ladies and gentlemen. And it is hot as fuck. And a thing I have noticed in Iceland, they don't have any sleeves because you, I mean, it's called Iceland for a reason. Like during the winter, it is super, super cold. Like this is what it looks like in the summer. And this is what it looks like in the winter. 
So this is the chocolate bar. It has some balls across the bottom. And you guys know I love me some balls in my mouth. <laughs> and I also love the chocolate ones. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's give this chocolate bar a try. Oh my god, it's like, you guys know Corn Puffs, the cereal? It's literally like Corn Puffs surrounded in chocolate. That's, that's really good. And there's nothing like washing a chocolate bar down with a nice sip of coffee. Yep, all my taste buds are burnt off. Why the hell? Why did I do that? Five days. Ah! This thing. Let's give, let's give it a try. <coughs> oh, that's old. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this dense and hard, but this is like when you go to Tim Hortons and you ask them for Timbits and they throw in one of those old fashioned non glazed Timbits that have been sitting there for three weeks. Oh my god, maybe she got me the coffee because she wanted me to dip this into the coffee. Let's see if this tastes better. Ugh, dude, it's so hard! I mean, this gas station is in the middle of literally butt f nowhere. So it is okay for them to have one donut that no one's eaten in quite a while, considering the location. So I'm gonna start the ride back home after following this random stranger out to this gas station that was super far away from my Airbnb. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna finish off the stuff I got from here and also start eating some of the stuff that I got from Bonus. Let's go. Oh, all right. Driving in Iceland is so crazy. Like, you just see the most random things. You'll just see, like, packs of horses. You'll see just a bunch of goats just chilling. You'll even see these giant white balls that are actually cow eggs about to hatch into cows. And that's how cows are born, if you guys didn't know. I hope you know I'm joking. After the long, long ride, I have arrived at actually a familiar place. We are at a conjoined KFC and Taco Bell, which is every single Taco Bell in Canada is also like this. So I feel very at home. And if you guys look behind me, the drive through line is absolutely crazy. So I thought, why don't I decide what I'm getting from this place, but I can only get things that they do not sell in Canada back home. I don't know why I personally have such a fascination with fast food across the globe. I always like watching those YouTube videos and I've never seen any fast food from Iceland. Besides, you know, my Labadu Tiku Taco Burrito place. What? Right now, I'm gonna head inside this KFC and Taco Bell, look at the menu, and only buy things that I have never seen before. I'm gonna bring them back to my Airbnb and try them for you guys and see how different Taco Bell and KFC is in Iceland. Okay, after the long drive back, I am finally here at the Airbnb. We have all of our KFC and our one item from Taco Bell, because there was only one thing at Taco Bell that I had never seen before, so that is what I got. This is the Fiesta Carto Flur. Why, why do I try? Oh my god, I just popped the lid and I was smacked in the... Why did I do that? I was like smacked in the face with flavor. Because one of the things came in a combo, we also got a drink. And it was like, I've seen this orange drink so many times while I've been in Iceland and I've never gotten it before. So that is the drink that I got. So let's give this potato party a try. I've never seen this in Canada and I don't think this is in America or at least these kind of potatoes are definitely not in America. I've, I've never seen them, okay? It's good. <laughs> let's wash that down with some of our orange drink. So now we're gonna head over to KFC. We got a couple sandwiches, and this one right here is the Tower. The Tower Borgani. This is the Tower Borgani, which I think is burger in Icelandic. Bitch, is your drunk? So here we have a big piece of chicken on the inside. There's like a hash brown patty or something. I think it. Yeah, wait. I don't know. I'm gonna try it, and we'll, I guess we'll find out together. Here's what the sandwich looks like. And a lot of you guys know that I'm a vegetarian outside of videos. So you might be thinking, wow, how can this guy judge the Icelandic KFC? This guy's not even American. Back in the day when I was in high school, I ate KFC like a madman. They had this special in Canada called Toonie Tuesday. And what a Toonie is, is a $2 coin. And every Tuesday you could go to KFC, get a small fries and two pieces of chicken for two bucks. And speaking of pieces of chicken, it is now time to test the, the original recipe at in or uh, in Iceland, that's where we are. So this was called the, um, that, that, that's what it's called. There's three types of chicken in here. The first one is the original recipe. So let's see if it tastes just like the one back home. 
Yep, that is definitely the Colonel's 12 herbs and spices. That tastes exactly the same. Now we have their deep fried chicken wings, which I don't think they have in Canada, actually. Yep, that definitely tastes like classic KFC chicken. So far, Iceland is two for two. This is their barbecue chicken. And while I was driving back, oh, I could smell it. My entire car just smelled like a smokehouse from freaking Tennessee or Texas. I don't, I don't know America, but let's see how it tastes. This is f***ing bomb. Ah! When I was in there, I saw that they had this thing called salad or sa it's salad and it looked interesting. It had some green stuff in it and I asked the girl, can I have some of that? And she said, okay. And then they gave me this little thing, but it's just straight up normal coleslaw. The picture, this was not in the picture. Let's see if it tastes like normal coleslaw. It tastes like normal coleslaw. And the last thing we had is the barbecue borgani. The bar, oh, I'm excited for this. After, oh my God, dude. This is their Zinger chicken burger, but it has that barbecue chicken that I just had in it. Okay, I have to say, besides the coleslaw, KFC and the top, even the little bit of Taco Bell we had in Iceland is freaking awesome. Even though I've only had like a little bite of each thing, I feel like if I was eating American KFC, I would already feel full bloated and like my veins are being clogged with chicken grease. I have to eat all of this and I only have a little, okay, that's gonna be tough, but hey, it's gonna be six years worth of KFC, not me not having, all the chicken's already getting to, I'm gonna try my best to eat all this, but no promises. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, I need to take a shower. I need a shower right now. All right, so after a long while, you can't really tell because if you remember, it's never dark here. As to probably why I almost fell asleep while I was showering. But the worst thing is I am probably going to get adjusted to this time tonight. And then I'm going back home tomorrow. I leave here at 5 p.m. and I land in Vancouver at 5 p.m. It's gonna be great. <laughs> ah! so for our last meal besides dessert, what I have decided to do is I have my laptop here and I have searched up the words best Iceland food. I got a bunch of videos and I clicked on this one by a YouTuber named Iceland with a view and it is called five must try foods in Iceland. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to a random part of this video and the first food, snack, meal, dessert, whatever she suggests, that is going to be my dinner. Now I have to strategically pick a time. This video is five minutes and 18 seconds. I was making a video called five must try foods. I would probably go like breakfast, lunch, a snack, dinner, and then dessert. So we're, I th I'm gonna wanna aim for a dinner food. I would go for a snack, but as you guys remember, I have one right here. It's me, I'm a snack. So around one minute, that might be breakfast. We got like two minutes, that might be lunch. Three, that might be the snack. Maybe like right there, there. That is what I'm gonna go, okay? The first food item she says, that is what we have to eat. Let's play. Just do it. I promise you won't regret it. <laughs> Back on track. Last but not least, my friends, you have to. Yes, you have to. Try Haukar, or AKA the fermented shark. So, yes, this is a devil. The ferment, the fermented who? This must be like a play on words for something else, right? Let's see in Iceland, and this is made from the Greenland shark, and it is a fermented over several months, and it smells rotten. <laughs> Fermented shark. No, no. And yeah, I mean, it's disgusting. But it's, it's an- Why are you suggesting it if it tastes disgusting? I have to go out and buy fermented shark. Are you kidding me? Unfortunately, they were actually sold out of the fermented shark at two locations. I went to two separate locations. So instead, I asked the employee, I said, I was planning on getting the fermented fish shark. What is another equal Icelandic traditional meal? And he handed me <laughs> fish jerky. Uh, this is called Bita Fishker which is fish jerky, and it says fish jerky is one of the oldest traditions in Iceland. Enjoy fish jerky on its own or with a pinch of butter, as the Icelanders do. 
I would like to enjoy it like that. How about we enjoy it? <laughs> Luckily, this isn't all bad because we also have our mint candies that we get to try from the grocery store in the morning. So it's going to definitely even out with deliciousness to it's disgustingness. Let's just go. Show <laughs> them to you guys. Oh, they're small. That's that's <laughs> okay. That's licorice, folks. Guess what? Derek doesn't like licorice. You know what? This is Icelandic licorice. Everybody says it's way better than normal licorice that you get from other places. So let's see. Oh, that's wow. Um, good thing the view is beautiful. That's the only nice thing going on. Right? Oh my god. Maybe this is like a suck vibe. You know, like you just suck on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, let's just put that there. We're gonna save that for never. Nice. Open. Let's give it a little sniff first. <laughs> you can see on there the little bits of skin that are still attached, as well as like some brown coloring that's going on. So we couldn't get the fermented shark like the lady in the video told us, but this is the closest thing a traditional Icelandic delicacy fish jerky. I don't know what this says, but it might as well say savior because that's what it's Oh my god, yes. Yes. Yeah. I would like to thank you guys so much for getting to the very end of my letting strangers decide what I eat for 24 hours in Iceland video. I am definitely going to miss Iceland. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It is super relaxing, super calm. And if you guys ever just want to get away somewhere, I highly, highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for all of your support on all the videos. It means the world to me. Always remember the motto of do good, die great. And I will see you all in the next video or at VidCon, which is coming up very, very soon. Bye! Here it comes, guys. Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready. Are you ready for it? Erica's here. It's coming. It's coming any day now. Any second, any minute. Okay, what the? F okay, yes, there it is. Yeah, you saw the yellow light.